This video is brought to you by our amazing supporters over at Patreon. Hey everyone, it's Ben from Board to Bits, and this is uh, going to be another pretty quick video, but one that's going to complete the kind of core loop through our game from main menu to the game itself to an actual kind of level end screen. And I don't want to call this specifically a game over screen because it's going to serve many purposes. It can serve a game over if you complete the game or if you for some reason lose the game. However, it's also going to serve as sort of an interstitial scene for like when you complete a level, but when we have multiple levels, it'll be that in-between where you can choose whether you want to continue, save your game, things like that. So to get started with this, we're going to duplicate our main menu scene. I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to do Control D and that's going to create a copy of that scene and I'm going to rename this one Level End. Now, in here, we're going to change a few things. I'm going to make sure it's opened up, first of all. So double-click it, because you may still be in your main menu scene. And in here, I'm going to change the title. I'm actually going to change the name of that to Message. And then we are going to keep the Start button, but we're actually going to change what it does a bit, too. Um, so we're going to change this, and we're going to call this um, Restart button. And I'm actually going to duplicate this and create a second button called return to menu button. And then this one I'm going to move down. We've got a height of 30. So we're going to position that down about negative 20 and negative 35. And that'll create a little bit of a gap there. Um, eventually there's a better way that we can arrange these buttons, but for now, since we just have two, I'll do it this way. So the text for this return to menu button is going to become return to menu. And in the button itself, I'm actually going to delete this on click event because we're going to change where that gets, um, where it gets its uh, method from. Likewise, for our restart button, we're going to change the text there to restart level. And we're going to once again delete the on click call that we have here. Lastly, I'm going to change the main menu up, UI up here. I'm going to change the name of that to level end UI. And I'm going to get rid of this main menu UI script. We're no longer going to use that here. Instead, we're going to go into scripts and I'm going to create a new folder called level end. And inside of here, I'm going to create a C sharp script called level end UI. You can open that up in mono develop. I'm going to delete the start and update methods. Not going to need those. And this is going to really kind of reflect the ideas of the main menu UI where here we created this method that when the start button is pressed, it goes into scene management and loads the level scene again. We can actually copy this paste it in here. We're going to paste this in twice. The first one I'm going to call restart button pressed and the other one I'm going to call menu button pressed. And so remember these two now are going to correspond to those buttons that have the restart uh, level and return to menu. Now in both of these cases here we're once again going to be loading a scene back from it so we're going to change this one from load scene level we can jump back to our assets to double check the name of our thing. So instead of um, for the return to menu, we're going to want to go to main menu. And for the level one, we can actually, in fact, return to level. So for restart button, we're going to stay going back to level. And this one will change to main menu. Save that there. And now back in Unity, we can go to our level end UI, add the level end UI component to that kind of parent object, the canvas. And then our restart button, we can add a new event here. And we're going to add the level end UI to that as the object and then access its level end UI component and use the restart button pressed there. And then for return to menu, we're going to do the same thing, add the event and then we'll once again drag the level end UI canvas object to the object here, get the level end UI component from that, 
and instead do menu button pressed. So now when we press these two buttons, they will reflect either sending us back to the level or back to the menu. Last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly change our message here to level complete. As we say, we don't have any fail states in our game right now, so it will always be a positive thing if we get to this scene. Save that quickly. And the last thing we need to make sure we do is go back into our play session manager because here remember that when we do handle level end, what we're currently doing is checking if, you know, is the level completed, uh, passing in that information, but it doesn't really matter because we're always going right now back to scene zero, which is the, um, which is the main menu. Instead, we want that to go to our um, level end scene now. So what we're actually gonna do is instead of, the way we've been doing this right now is we've just been using scene manager load scene, which with the um, integer of the build, which is fine, but it's kind of inconsistent with what we're doing here. So I'm actually gonna do it this way now instead and call um, level, level or rather scene manager load scene with the name of the level that we want. So instead of load scene integer, what we're gonna do is we're gonna place in here the name of the last scene we created now, which is level end. And so we'll use that name as the string here and we'll say level end. And that will work just as well for us. I do wanna make sure before I go on here that I go into build settings and I'm going to add the open scene, which is that level end scene here. You could also drag and drop it in. Um, if you wanted to, you could delete that and then take your level end scene, add it in there that way as well. So now we make sure that they're all within the build so that if we were to debuild this for debugging purposes, or um, even sometimes when you're playing in the um, editor, it can, you need to make sure that you have all your scenes in there for it to um, access them. So with that now, what we can do is we can go back to our main menu, hit play, and what we should see now is we can start our game, walk over to our goal, and now we go to this level complete scene and we can choose to either restart the level, complete it again, or we can go return to menu. So now we have this complete loop, um, not just automatically returning to the main menu, but we're giving, us, giving ourselves this option to restart the level or go back to the main menu. Another thing we might wanna do is have the option to quit the game entirely or to change what level you're doing which both of those things are going to uh, be the subject of our next couple of videos, which are quitting out of the application, as well as getting into some sub menus that can be accessed from a couple of different places, which is actually also gonna require us to relook a little bit at how we're handling our scenes so that we have a little bit more control over them. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.